This is our European lobster, also known as the common lobster. The first thing you will notice about him is that he's not red but a bright blue in colour. The reason for this is lobsters only turn red once they are cooked. In the wild, they are found from the eastern Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. They live in holes and crevices from the low tide mark to the depths of about 60 metres. You will often find them scavenging the seafloor, looking for food, and they can eat anything from crabs, starfish, mussels to even small fish, so they're not particularly fussy eaters. Our favourite food is a little bit of sprat and we feed them once a day. Just like other crustaceans, they do not have a fixed size limit and continue to grow until they die. In order to grow, lobsters actually have to shed their shell in a process called molting. When the shell becomes too tight, they split it in half where the main body meets the tail and then they crawl out. This is a very dangerous time for lobsters because they have no protection against predators until the new shell becomes hard. Juveniles molt several times a year, whereas adults may only molt once every one to two years. The largest lobster ever found was over a metre in length, and it is believed that they can live to be over 100 years old. Just like humans, lobsters are both left and right handed or corded, and they have two types of claws. The largest is the crushing claw, uh, and is used to crush their play. The other is the cutting claw, which has a sharp inner edge that is used for tearing up their prey. You can see him here using both of his claws to play with his rainbow coloured ball. The reason this ball is in his tank is for a bit of an enrichment for him. Enrichment is a very important part of what we do here at the aquarium and if you wanted to see more examples of it you can always check out our octopus um, video done by our supervisor Lara.